What's going on guys? Lori Agachega here and uh, it is Sunday. Today we're going to talk about whether you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneur, the right mindset that you need to have to just be a fucking beast at life. So let's get going. Oh shit, I forgot something. Cheers! Thermovex, please sponsor me. <laughs> Thermovex, sponsor this. Sponsor these videos. Sponsor me. I love your shit. It's fire. Alright, back to the car. So there's actually something I really want to talk about today. It doesn't matter if you want to be an entrepreneur or entrepreneur. It's all about the right mindset that you need to have to just be a beast at anything you do in life. And that's what I really want to dive deep into today because I get a lot of messages like, Laura, how are you killing it? Laura, how'd you go from a complete stoner with no drive to be to being like a successful person, right? But like also what is success, you know? Um, but, but like these are like real questions and like I want want you to just have the blueprint for free people charge for this shit and I'm just willing to give it to you for free um, to have the blueprint so that you can take care of your family like if you could do anything you want to do in life you're not like restricted on anything um, first things first we have to get rid of the victimizing mentality right or like stop feeling sorry sorry for yourself or like blaming other people for for your shortcomings or or whatever um, you know, Seth Godin talks about this really well. You have no enemies. Your only enemy is yourself, okay? So you have to realize that anything that happens to you, anything at all, is because of you. Whether it's good or bad, it happened because of you. Like, I'm sure you understand cause and effect, right? If you don't do anything, you're not going to get anything. And if you do something, something is going to happen. Whether it's positive or negative, doesn't matter. It happened because you did something, right? Like get rid of that of that thought process of of victimizing. I hate it. Honestly, like I don't like when people victimize themselves. Um, it's just like it's it's pointless to me because you have the complete control to create a, a amazing reality for yourself. Like, yeah. And then here's another point I want to make. Whether entrepreneur or entrepreneur, you need to become the linchpin of whatever ecosystem you're in, okay? So what that means is, whether you're in a business or you run your own business, without you, it won't work. That's what that's what needs to happen. Because it's, it's kinda like Django, when you take that piece out and everything falls, so like, you need to become that. Another thing is you need to invest in yourself, okay? Whether it's um, books, like you have to be hungry for knowledge at all times, like that's mandatory. You have to be hungry for knowledge at all times, no matter what. So you need to be investing in building up your brain and like striving to new, learn new things at all times. There's, there's no like, there's no if, and, or but about that. Another thing is, I'm sure you've heard this before, um, your network is your net worth. You need to invest in like networking with people that have minds like yours. Like if you want to revolutionize the world, go hang out with people that want to revolutionize the world. Um, and that like knowledge and network are your main investments. And then also like yourself, like your body, your appearance, like being healthy. Um, that's something I lack on but I'm working on it, right? And that's what it's about. It's about working on it and working towards a goal. You really need to become a connoisseur of knowledge, a connoisseur of life. Um, so like, let's say you take one hour a day and for the next four years, you just study that one skill set that you want to develop for one hour a day. That's 10,000 hours, roughly 10,000 hours of just pure knowledge that you had than the day before, you know? So you are more advanced at this skill set than other people out there. So work on your skill sets, work on yourself. Like that's the keys, you know? Like you're studying it for an hour a day. Imagine where you're gonna be in four years. Imagine where you're gonna be in eight years, okay? You're, you're beating everyone. That's, that's what you're gonna be. When I work with clients that really want me to build out a team for them or something like that, I have to explain to them, like guys, if you want A players, you have to pay for that, okay? Because Let's be real. Really good A players are not sitting on their ass at home um, thinking, oh, where's, where's, where am I going to get my next job? No, their A players are, one, either working on their own shit or two, getting paid a shitload of money to work on something else, okay? That's what A players do because there's so few of us. There's so few A players in the world. They're, it's ridiculous. But also think about, like, how did they get there, right? They got there because of that hunger because they kept investing in themselves. 
A players get to where they are because they're hungry. They're investing in themselves. They're determined to accomplish something magnificent. That's what A players do. They're definitely not like, oh, I graduated school, I got my diploma from some college, I'm just gonna chill, um, I'm gonna read a blog about writing a book and then sit on my ass and never write the book. Yeah, those are not A players. So if that's you, you need to change that mindset like right now. You can become an A player, you just have to be determined for it. You, you have to want it so bad that there's no other option. And keep in mind, you can be an A player in so many different topics. Like, you could you could just want to learn a new language and be proficient at that language. Like, it, it doesn't have to be something huge, you know? It could be like little tiny things that are gonna make you that A player mindset, you know? Don't overthink it, just do it. So Seth Godin talks about the linchpin, right? So imagine you're driving down like a road and and you see, you just see cows, right? And you're like, black cow, white cow, black cow, white cow. And then, holy shit, that's a fucking green cow. What? Right? It's like a pattern interrupt. <laughs> like, it's it's a green cow. Oh my god. So, it's a pattern interrupt. That green cow is unique. And what you need to do is become that green cow. <laughs> like, it's that simple. You need to become the green cow. So I have this saying, right? An optimistic person sees green. A pessimistic person sees red. And a winner is colorblind. Okay? So... Winners see everything. We see everything. You have to be able to see all the options available to you, okay? That's how winners win, okay? Because it's about being able to look at a negative thing, turn it positive. Being able to look at a positive thing and see um, beyond that. So, like, don't ever have tunnel vision into optimism or pessimism. Um, don't just be able to look at everything and see where the opportunity lies. That's a winner's mindset I always tell people when they ask me like I hope whatever you're doing is just like a stepping stone to the next step because winners the way winners look at time um, they, they don't think short-term they think long-term and by long-term I mean 20 30 40 50 years ahead thinking about the next generation how, how their next generation is gonna take over its, its legacy that's how winners think so this is what you have to do, okay? You have to surround yourself with people that think like this, okay? People that want to change the world, people in a, in a positive way, that want to change the world in a positive way, um, people that are willing to do whatever it takes, and, and that's how you grow that network, okay? Pe Like-minded people. That's how you grow as a human being, as a per like, as, as a spiritual being, as, you just fucking grow. <laughs> like, it, you can't lose if you surround yourself with the right people. You can't. Um, also, when you surround yourself with these people, I always like to remember um, this, I'm sure you know this quote, it's, you always want to be the dumbest person in the room, or you probably know the quote as, never be the smartest person in the room, whatever, um, it's true, um, anytime I'm at a networking thing, I always want to be the dumbest person, I want to soak everything in, because I, I know I don't know everything, guys, like, if you think you know everything, that's the wrong mindset, you don't. Like, you just don't. So surround yourself and soak up information, guys. That's how you have a winning mindset. Always look for arbitrage in everything you do. Always. All right, and just to, just to finish up on network, guys, you need to stay away from energy vampires, okay? If you have anybody in your life that you feel like isn't rooting for you 100% or, or when they compliment you, you still in the back of your mind think, oh, was that real? Like... Like you have some doubts in your mind cut them out of your life completely. They are energy vampires You don't need that. Okay people that are always questioning whatever you're doing is like with a negative tone When you're trying to like better yourself cut them out. You genuinely don't need that. It's gonna drain your energy We only have a certain amount of um, Mental energy to put towards something and if you're spending that mental energy thinking about if someone was honest with you Or if they actually believe in you or whatever like you're draining yourself they're draining you those are energy vampires and you do not need that in your life so cut it cut it cut it cut it go out today and surround yourself with people that are way ahead of you and learn from them okay even if you can't do it in person go find them online go find them online and read their books read their listen to their podcasts do, do whatever you need to do to put that person in your ecosystem so that you can thrive all right that's how you win all right now I'm gonna go work out latest no matter where I am Great
turn up my back, I hold my head up, and I walk like I mean it. I am courageous. Alright, well, I'm at Walmart. Um, what you guys just heard is the daily affirmations that I listen to and that I write down um, every day in my notebook. Um, I think affirmations are amazing. Like, anybody that does affirmations on a daily basis is probably a fucking beast. Um, it's like a good reminder to remind yourself like how awesome you are um, and how you deserve everything you could ever dream of. So, um, I wanted to incorporate something really dope to the vlogs. And I'm at Walmart so that I can go buy this like whiteboard so that I can share with you my what like a daily affirmation throughout like this process of vlogging um, I think that'd be cute and like dope and I, I hope you guys enjoy that so let's get it guys I'm inside the mart um, this is like all the options I have to choose from which is not a wide variety I probably should have gone to RJ, <laughs> uh, the Mart. So I don't really know which one I'm gonna choose, guys. The struggles of trying to be a content creator and cute and shit. I don't know what I'm gonna choose, but you'll find out soon. So, remember how we were talking about affirmations? Well, the affirmation for this video is, I'm a magnet for the experiences I most desire. So guys, when it comes to affirmations, you have to talk like it's already there, okay? That's how you manifest things. Um, because you have to reprogram your mind to get out of scarcity mode, okay? Society has conditioned us into scarcity mode, and it's our moral obligation to get out of it, all right? So, can't wait to see you tomorrow. I hope you guys had an amazing Sunday.